Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ever been driving down the road when suddenly your transmission starts acting up? It refuses to shift into the right gear, causing your engine to rev high or feeling sluggish acceleration. You might be dealing with a bad shift solenoid. In this video, we'll explore the telltale signs of a faulty transmission shift solenoid and what you can do about it. Ignoring those symptoms can cause costly transmission repair down the road. An automatic transmission relies on a complex system of hydraulic components to shift gears smoothly. The shift solenoid is an electro-hydraulic valve that controls the flow of transmission fluid, which allows the transmission to change gears seamlessly. Shift solenoids typically fail due to internal electrical issues like short circuits or mechanical issues like dirt accumulation. When a shift solenoid fails, it disrupts the precise timing and fluid pressure required for smooth gear changes. This can lead to a range of frustrating symptoms that we'll explore shortly. Delayed gear shifting or inability to shift is one of the most obvious signs of a bad shift solenoid. You might notice significant delays when accelerating, or the transmission could even get stuck in a particular gear refusing to shift up or down. In some cases, you may experience difficulty engaging the reverse gear. A faulty shift solenoid can also cause your transmission to shift gears erratically or roughly. You might feel hard jolts or clunky noises as the gears engage, or the transmission may slip in and out of gears unexpectedly. When the transmission isn't shifting properly, it can have a significant impact on your vehicle's overall performance. You may experience sluggish acceleration, even as the engine revs higher without a corresponding increase in speed. In some cases, the transmission may even go into a limp mode, limiting your vehicle's power and speed as a safety precaution. While a bad shift solenoid doesn't always trigger a warning light, you may notice the check engine light or transmission warning light, which can indicate a variety of transmission-related issues, including problems with the shift solenoids. It's important to note that a faulty shift solenoid may not always set off diagnostic trouble codes immediately. For example, a 2010 Pontiac G6 owner reported their car refusing to shift past second gear, with no codes detected by the diagnostic scanner. Similarly, a 1996 Aurora owner experienced harsh downshifts, but no codes were triggered initially. The reason for this is that the powertrain control module PCM doesn't directly monitor the shift solenoids. Instead, it relies on input and output speed sensors to determine gear ratios. If a solenoid fails mechanically or electrically, it may take some time before the PCM detects an issue and sets a code. While it may be tempting to continue driving with a faulty shift solenoid, doing so can lead to further transmission damage and costly repairs down the line. The erratic shifting behavior can also pose safety concerns, especially if the transmission unexpectedly shifts into a lower gear while driving at high speeds. Additionally, a transmission that isn't shifting properly can negatively impact your vehicle's fuel efficiency, as the engine may be working harder than necessary to compensate for the gear issues. While shift solenoids themselves can be the culprit, a corroded or damaged wiring harness can prevent the solenoids from receiving the proper signals, leading to erratic behavior or complete failure. Even something as simple as a loose or damaged connector can cause intermittent issues. For example, let's take a look at a case involving a 2005 Ford Focus. The owner was experiencing hard shifting and received a P0751 code, which indicates a shift solenoid performance issue. Despite replacing the shift solenoids as well as the transmission filter, the problem persisted. It turned out that the issue was related to the wiring from the transmission control module to the solenoids. Another example is a 1997 Chevy Blazer that was experiencing shifting issues. Initially, the problem was diagnosed as a failed 3-2 shift solenoid, but even after replacing the solenoids, new issues arose, including hard shifts from first to second gear and a P1870 code for transmission component slippage. It turned out that the root cause was a faulty valve body, and the entire unit needed to be replaced to resolve the problem. In cases like these, the TCM may need to be reprogrammed to ensure that it's sending the correct signals to the solenoids and valve body. While shift solenoids are primarily electrical components, transmission fluid plays a crucial role in their proper functioning. A low fluid level can lead to solenoids sticking or malfunctioning, as there isn't enough hydraulic pressure to actuate them correctly. On the other hand, contaminated transmission fluid can cause clogs or sticking solenoids. Debris and sludge can accumulate over time, preventing the solenoids from moving freely and causing shifting issues. In some cases, metal debris or clutch pack remnants can find their way into the valve body, obstructing the solenoids' movement or preventing them from sealing properly. A perfect illustration of this is the case of a 1999 GMC Sierra with a 4L60E transmission. Initially, the issue was diagnosed as a shift solenoid B performance problem, but upon further inspection, it was discovered that the 3 to 4 clutch pack had failed, which left debris in the transmission. Even after rebuilding the transmission and replacing the solenoid, the slipping issue persisted in third gear. 
It wasn't until the faulty shift solenoid B was replaced that the problem was finally resolved. You can test a shift solenoid by applying a battery voltage of 12 volts and listening for any clicking sound. No clicking means it is bad. You can also measure their resistance by connecting multimeter probes to the solenoid terminals. Expected resistance values for healthy solenoids are usually in the range of 12 to 28 ohms. You can also test fluid flow through the solenoids in different states, such as when they're energized or de-energized. Cleaning a shift solenoid may provide only a temporary fix, and the solenoid is likely to fail again shortly after. You can try cleaning it with brake cleaner, however. I would suggest replacing it and getting a new OEM part. Moreover, perform a complete transmission flush and change the transmission filter. If you want a detailed explanation, I have left a link to a guide in the description. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more car repair tips. Thanks for watching.